So, in this section, we will be diving into the essential concepts and techniques that will help you creating your, your clean architecture ridden application. So, first of all, you can see we have three layers the domain layer, um, the data layer, and the presentation layer, right? So, let's start from the domain. So, in the domain, we usually have three sub um, directory, right? So, we have first of all the entity. The entities, as it says here, will represent the core data models of the application. They will be the blueprint of um, what objects you'll be passing around in your application. Take, for example, if we have a login feature, right, and we, when someone successfully logs in, what data do we need from the server? We need the user's data. So for that reason, we will have a data model, right? But not a model, sorry. We have a, date, a, um, a user entity, rather. So we will have an entity, meaning the blueprint that defines what structure the data will be in or what properties a user's data will carry when it's coming from the server, right? So how is it stored on the server? What does the server give back to us? So if the server gives us username, age, and what, whatever, there may be, I don't know, if they're an admin or whatever, um, the entity will have all of that written inside of it to show what a user has or what a user or what a user is meant to be. So the repositories, what do they do? They define the contract between the data layer and the domain layer, right? So um, this is basically usually done in the form of an interface, right? In other languages like Java, you can define interfaces. In Dart, we don't have interfaces, so we can mimic the functionality of an interface with something called an abstract class. An abstract class, we will see that in the course of the application. Right, so these um, repositories in the domain layer um, define, so this is mostly what makes clean architecture so beautiful, right? It will define that structure. It will define, we define the, basically the structures of how stuff is supposed to look like. So this is basically the blueprint of what functionalities we will be um, carrying out in the application. And then finally, in inside of the domain layer, we have the use cases. Like I told you before in the previous session, the use cases will represent the business logic of the application, right? So they also depend on the repository, right? So they depend on a repository. It could be any repository. This is why where clean architecture shines because it makes everything so loosely coupled, right? You could literally give it any repository that is a subclass of this repository contracts that we have over here. All right. So again, you don't have to understand these now, but this is here in case you need better understanding after the course or midway into the course or where, whenever you need to understand what we're doing. You can always come back to this session as a reference in order to better understand a particular 